Hi, I'm Trinity Taylor from season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm going to show you how to do my Lady Gaga inspired look from the first episode. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna go from this to this. So my first step to transforming my face is covering my brows. My brows are pretty thin, so I'm gonna use just a kid's glue stick that you played with in elementary school to glue down your brows. I know, how innovative. I like a glue stick because it's pretty easy to get off and it does the job. So I like easy. After you glue down your brows, you're gonna wanna set your brow with a powder. A translucent powder is just fine. And now I'm done. I use three different foundations, one for highlight, one for contour, and one for the actual foundation color. So I start with my highlight color foundation. I prefer a stick because I feel like it's easier to use. You don't have to necessarily use a sponge to get it onto the skin. I will use a beauty blender to blend it out. Also, Lady Gaga, the look that I'm doing, she was very fair in that look, so I'm gonna do a little extra highlight than I would normally do for my normal face. I'm gonna use a beauty blender, and then you're gonna start from the center and work your way out. So the reason why I am tapping my foundation versus um, smearing it or smudging it is because it keeps the pigment in place versus if you were to swipe, it removes a lot of the pigmentation so it will be more sheer and I need coverage because I am a man. Notice that I'm highlighting all of the center of my face. You wanna leave the outer part of your face for your normal foundation that you'll blend to your neck. And also don't forget, a, you're gonna put a darker foundation around the hairline to create a softer hairline look. The next step that I'm gonna do is the foundation color. And it is a little darker than my highlight, well, I was, it's a lot darker than my highlight, but it is uh, lighter than what my contour color is. Just a little trick, I'm running really low on my makeup in, in the container, so if you use uh, the end of your brush, you can dip it out. There's a ton of foundation left inside this container that you don't wanna throw away, so it's a waste of money, so I'm gonna use it. It's like peanut butter. You're gonna do this all around the edges of the highlight. I'm also gonna take this down my jawline and onto my neck, and you're literally gonna blend. Gaga has very pronounced cheekbones, and although I'm not doing an exact Gaga makeup because I don't really look like her, you still wanna give like the illusion of her. Oh my God, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Now get this beard covered. We don't want to look like Willem. The one thing I wish foundation would cover up would be my Adam's apple. That just is a dead giveaway that I'm a big dude. So next we are going to do our darker contour color. I'm not gonna use a very, very dark contour because Lady Gaga in this look is very fair. A suggestion for all of you big nose drag queens out there, cause ooh, girl, look at that. You want to not use a really dark contour all over because I find with a darker contour on the side of the nose, it makes your nose look actually way bigger. And then you're gonna blend on the side of the nose. So bring it right here. You're probably thinking that looks the same color as our foundation. And it may be because I'm a pageant queen and I have astigmatism. I don't like to use the word pageant queen because there's such a stigmatism with pageant queens. Another beauty blender, this is for the darker contour color. Again, pat, pat, pat. I don't blend right here. This may seem like a really harsh line, but that also is my guide for my eyeshadow. Next, we're gonna set our foundation. You're gonna start with your translucent powder like we did for the brows. You're gonna do this all over the center of your face where you highlight it. I'm using a very large powder puff. The older they get, the better they're used, like Charlie. Next step is going to be setting your darker foundation. This is not a translucent powder. I actually use a very dark, setting powder and mix it with a very light 
setting powder because usually I try to look tan. I'm going to use a powder brush with my highlight translucent powder to go over everything just so it's a little lighter. Now I'm going to go in with a powder contour. So I'm using a medium tone contour powder and we're just gonna go to the back of the cheekbone. I didn't add any extra powder for the side of my nose because again, it would be really dark. For this look, Lady Gaga did not have any blush on so I'm not gonna add any, but I am gonna go over with a pressed powder this I use as my touch-up highlight. I really like the finish that it gives me. It's almost like an airbrush. So I'll take like a flat brush, same places that we did the highlight. For this look, Lady Gaga doesn't really have a pronounced brow, so I'm gonna start with my crease. I always start with a medium tone brown. With this look, Lady Gaga really brings out her eyeshadow line. So remember the line that I left there for my eyeshadow, we're gonna follow that. The trick to having symmetry on your face is praying. <laughs> the next step is Lady Gaga has really pronounced lids and I'm going to fill this all in with a cream shadow. I'm going back to my highlight color and you're gonna do this all over the entire lid and a little bit above the lid. You wanna create a larger lid than what you naturally have. The next step we're gonna do is setting the lid with a powder shadow. I'm using a pigment. So after we've set that, now we're gonna go in darker into the crease. Let's start on the outside where you're gonna connect your eyeshadow. I'm still going to use a liquid liner over this. This is just giving me a guide. Next, we're gonna connect this liner with the crease. I'm gonna use a uh, crease blending brush just to blend it even more. I'm also going to use a sharp edged um, card. You can use, I've used old credit cards, uh, your license, but this is just a cardboard card. So you're gonna place the card right on that line and use your shadow. Now you gotta just make the other side match. Remember, it's sisters, not twins. And I'm using a liquid liner that has a felt tip on the end because I like them thicker. Um, you have more control. Who doesn't like thicker? You're gonna go from really thin on the inside to pretty thick on the outside. You're gonna follow that line you made earlier. Now I'm just touching up, trying to make them look as even as possible. Remember we talked about symmetry. And these are looking more like stepbrother and sister versus related. So right now I'm just going over my liquid liner in the crease just to blend it out. That way there's no harsh, harsh line. I'm bringing it under my eye and halfway across. I'm using a powder first. Next, we're gonna do a highlight color underneath the eye the rest of the way across. I'm gonna use a very light color eyeshadow. So we're gonna take this highlight and do it halfway across. <coughs> that was my James impersonation. Who do we have left? It's important to sharpen your pencils, guys. This is gonna make your eye look a lot larger. It looks like it really hurts and it's probably because it does. The next step to this look is doing your mascara. We're gonna use a basic black mascara. I also bend the tip of my mascara wand because it's easier to use. And then you're gonna go back with your black to blend. I'm not doing a bottom lash for this look because the look does not call for it. You definitely want lots of black under the eye for definition. So I finished my eyes and now I'm going to do my last steps, which is going to be my lips and my lashes. And then we're gonna to touch up with a few details at the very, very end. So let's get started with those lips. The thing with these lips, the V in the center is very pronounced. I'm just using a really red, it's like a brick color. I'm slightly overdrawing my lips because that's the shape of Gaga's. I am 
filling in my lip with a lip liner. I really want this to be a full coverage red lip. You can or you don't have to add gloss. It's gonna be depending on if you want to have a matte look or a glossy look. For this one though, specifically, Gaga has a glossy lip. Gaga also has a beauty mark, so we're just gonna add that. I want to add a little bit of a highlight with a shimmer on my cheeks. I use my finger. You can use a brush, but I prefer my finger because I feel like it blends better. When I first started doing drag, shimmer highlights were never a thing. This is definitely a trend. So these are number 40, and you see how PC the lash is? It's gonna be nice because you'll be able to see the lid through the lash. Some people use lash glue. I actually use weave bonding glue. It's kind of like just a, a liquid latex. It is quick drying and it peels off really easy. I use my finger, I stick them on just right in the middle and then after they're stuck on, I'll reposition. To avoid a Gia gun, wonky lash, first of all, you wanna make sure that you don't have astigmatism to where you can actually see what you're doing but it's really not that hard. You just wanna place the lash in the same place that you place the other one so that way they're even. The last thing we're gonna do for this look, for the makeup, we're gonna just touch up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush just to blend. I over highlight my nose versus over contouring it to make it look a little thinner. So I'm gonna use a really, really, really thin brush for that. It's wider and thinner and it's really dense. So you're gonna use the same blending highlight that I used over my cheeks, just down the bridge of my nose. Take the same highlight just to re-highlight just a little bit. And there we go, now let's put on this wig, honey. And now here we are with the final look. For fake blood, I use an acrylic paint because it dries faster and it's easy to wash off. So it's a good trick for you guys for Halloween or any other looks that you require blood or color on your body. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This is my favorite Lady Gaga and I'm so glad to do it again. Follow me on all social media at Trinity the Tuck. You can see my website at trinitythetuck.com. Come over, see me, say hi, and I love you guys. Have fun. Tag me if you do this look. I wanna see it. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.